Hello everybody! I'm Hope and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Fate Stay Night Rialta Nua. Previously, a lot of stuff went down. I probably split the, split the episode into two parts. So I'm assuming the previous episode, we learned about the past Holy Grail War and how Kiritsugu and Saber's relationship was, how Saber was betrayed. We went to got some answers from Kire. Kire gave us more cryptic bullshit that is probably going to be relevant later because Kire is a weird ass foil to Shiro somehow that we're going to get into. Probably Kire's fucking going nuts. Gilgamesh is hanging out there. And it's Valentine's Day. Shiro has finally admitted to himself that he does love Saber. Even if the translation translates, translates it to like, it, it's, it's love game. But you know. That being said, I think we should just go ahead and get started. I also, I also just wanted to thank um, a few of the commenters. Um, there's this one commenter, uh, Josh, I believe. Joshua? Yeah. They, they commented very long posts about Saber's characterization, and they did a very good uh, job. It was a very fun read. I definitely agreed with all of it. Um, the more that I play this game, the more I get salty about, about Zero, honestly. The, there's a lot of good in Zero. Saber? Not the best. Saber still has some good moments, like her Excalibur scene was awesome, her fighting Lancer. Her whole relationship with Lancer, for the most part, was great. The only thing that's a problem is her characterization when it comes to... ...some stuff with Lancer in terms of her chivalry being too... ...too much. Like, in terms of her characterization in this game, I feel like her chivalry was kind of... ...pushed too hard of what it actually was. Anyway, why don't we get started? It's Valentine's Day. Yay. Hog. Is this gonna be happy? Probably not. It's Moonlight 1, so we're gonna have two chapters of this. The very Pog. Ooh, a phone. So, before I realize it, it's morning already. I stopped the alarm clock with a sigh. Today is my date with Saber, no matter what she says. <laughs> yes! I'm so happy, man. That's That's beautiful, so... Um, instead of, you know, focusing on the Holy Grail War, Shiro's gonna just be selfish for once and have his own day, to which Rin absolutely lost her shit at, because seeing Shiro be so selfish is so, so new to her, it's so different. I'm going to take her to places she hasn't been and play around, and not, and the most important thing is for her to enjoy herself. Oh, I was trying to use the knowledge I don't have to come up with a plan for the day, but the alarm clock went off before I noticed the time. Set the alarm clock just in case. I couldn't come up with any good plans last night, so I borrowed it from Tosaka, thinking I might take a long time to come up with a plan. It was useless in the end. Oh. I sigh again. That's the problem. Even more shocking th that the fact that I couldn't get any sleep is the fact that I couldn't come up with any plan that might make a girl happy. Even though I thought about it all night. There you go, Cheryl, man. I relate to you, my dude. That's what it's all about. We go to cute-looking stores, she's bound to have fun. Well, I think the plan has some weak points, but I've made up my mind, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's not like I have any other ideas, so I'm gonna entertain her today until she gives up. Okay. あの様子なら目を覚ますのにもうしばらくかかりそうだけど、今日はそれが幸いしたわね。イリア、起きてれば白の後について回って邪魔してただろうし。そうですね。今までのようにシロに同行されては止まらない。Fair enough. I'm sorry, Seba, but no. No matter what you say, that that ain't happen. あ、そっちの邪魔じゃないんだけど。ま、いいか。私が言っても仕方ないし、これは素人セーバーの問題だし。Damn。Sakura Saber is ready to go and search for masters, but I have willpower as well. Whoa! Random yawn just fucking murdered me. I just need to come out with it like a man. 
支度があるなら今のうちに済ませておいてくれ。ジェーン。マスター探しですか。それでしたら隣町ではなく。お前か。海外の方が確実だと思いますが。ブリリアント。そんなんじゃない。二人で遊びに行くんだから、<笑>郊外になんて言っても仕方がないだろう。The the play of the game. We're gonna go hang out. Saber freezes. I really have to get back at the person behind her who's trying not to laugh. Also, this is gonna be the first time in her whole life that she's gotten to hang out with someone and have fun. That's really depressing. ここまで行ってもわからないんだな、セイバーは。<laughs> There we go. He came out with it. I ask, ignoring Tosaka's stare. I don't know how much he understands. <laughs> Sorry, Tosaka. I'm sorry. Sorry, Tosaka. I'm sorry. Sorry, Tosaka. I'm sorry. Basically, we go to town. We go to every shop. We go eat lunch. We, uh. We walk and talk. And, uh. I don't know, man. Dates are like whatever you want them to be, bruh. She asks even less happily. That flips the switch within me. It seems like caring for her has the opposite effect when it comes to things like this. It seems it would be to both our benefits to state it clearly. Shiro, <laughs> if <笑>別に専門的な単語じゃないぞ。知らないなら教えてやるけど。デートってのは女の子と遊びに行くって意味だ。Kinda? When I nod, Saber frowns even more unhappily. <laughs> Her reaction is, un is unexpected. The intention of a date is obvious, but I'm a bit hesitant to tell Saber straight on. The suck interrupts as if unable to ignore us. いい、セイバー。デートってのはね。要するに、相引きのことなの。あ、ランデブー?白は遊びに行くって言うけど、詰まるところ、男の子が好きなのは。Well, <laughs> I shouldn't interrupt. It seems Saber finally understands what a date is. That is true. Oh, shit. Oh! No, there is so much benefit in this, Saber. Freaking knucklehead. そんなことはないけど、別にそうでも構わないぞ。え、今日はセイバーのために使うって決めたんだから、俺のことは気にするな。This man could get stabbed in the stomach and still not change his mind. Is there straight on a saber? After thinking with a serious face for a while. では、私が反対した場合でも、シロは一人で街に出ると。No, that's not how this works. 
Oh, okay. His voice acting, though. Ah, so that's how we're, we're rationalizing this. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. As a servant, you can't leave him alone. I mean, he's your master, you know? The deep sigh, Saber answers in her usual manner. I get really angry about her following me because she's my servant, but I managed to succeed in getting Saber out. I just have to take Saber to places without thinking too much about it. Okay. I gesture to Tosaka to go to hell. <laughs> she makes fun of me right to the end and we go outside. That's great. I, I, I didn't think I'd get this far. Alright, let's do it. The road is awfully quiet. It's past nine on a weekday. The town is starting to come alive, but it must be a bit too early for people to start going anywhere. There's no one out on the road, and it's like we have the place to ourselves. <laughs> yeah, man, fuck education. <laughs> he replies sharply. He's walking behind me as usual, but it feels different today. To put it nicely, I feel pressure from behind me. Anyway, Saber's going to be harder to handle today. We get on the bus. B -b 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 bus. It would have been full of people an hour ago, but there aren't many people using it at this time. Perfect for shenanigans. The only people on the bus are an old lady and a kid, so it's likely it's like we have the place for ourselves. Yeah, man. Let's go sit at the back. That way we can do weird shit. Pog. I call out to Saber, about to sit right at the front and sit at the back of the end of the bus. Oh, look at her. She's so pretty, man. Saber watches the passing scenery silently. Looking at her, I realize how crazy I'm being right now. The bus to the neighboring town is ordinary for me, but in this ordinary thing, there's something extraordinary. Well, in short, to be honest, my mind starts to twist like a Rubik's Cube, realizing we're about to go on a date. Oh. Crap, I'm getting really nervous. I take a deep breath, try not to let Saber notice, and I know I shouldn't, but I sneak one more glance at Saber. God, she's beautiful. My heart jumps. The Saber sitting next to me is a Saber I don't know. No, Saber herself is the same. All this changes the place. But still, just that makes me realize she is different. Something I didn't know, notice back in my place. The, this ordinary scene seems like a different world, just because it has Saber in it. Her hair is like golden silk, and her green eyes are so beautiful that their, their presence is overwhelming. There wasn't much to compare her against up to now, so I forget about it. So I forgot about it. I remember the time I first met Saber. I was probably avoiding her because I was embarrassed about being fascinated by her. No matter what Saber says, she's a girl before she is a swordsman for me. I didn't know how to approach her and, and didn't realize my feelings for her. It's stupid even for me. I was finally able to believe in Saber with everything I have, and then I decided to go on a date with her. Just those two are in the wrong order, and I finally realized when our date's about to begin just how big a deal it is to go on a date with a girl you like. But that's fine. I can only do my best, so I can't back out now. I calm myself and shake off my weak spirits. The bus has crossed the bridge and it's going into the developing area where the buildings are. I breathe out and prepare myself. The announcer I'm so used to hearing announces the next stop, Shinto Station. It's still 9 in the morning, but the area in front of the station is crowded. Most shops open at 10, but cafes and bookstores are already open. There are already many more people than there were at Miyama City. And this place is as crowded as it is on weekends. Cafes and bookstores are fantastic places to go on these for for these so-called dates. 
I, I think those are solid choices, Shira. I don't know what he's gonna pick, but... <laughs> God, I <laughs> she's so done, man. I love it. Getting off the bus, Saber looks around unhappily. It's only natural. Saber was against this date, and people passing by are looking at her curiously. She must not feel too good about that. But that's going to follow us around for the whole day. If there's a way to calm it down, it's to make Saber have so much fun that she forgets about the people staring at her. I pound a fist and turn to Saber. どこか行ってみたいところはあるか。せっかく来たんだから、今日ぐらいは好きなことをしてもいいだろう。さあ、別にこれといって興味のある場所はありませんから。そもそも私にそのような選択をする知識はありません。あ、we Shiro, get her plushie. Get her some plushies, my man. She'll love it. No, no, no! It's, it's not like that at all! <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit, but it's a little bit. Well, that's still difficult. I know places where I won't get bored, but I can't even imagine where a girl would be happy to go to. Jeez, if it's going to end up like this, I wish I'd gone out with a girl just once. <laughs> that's just that's just the sure way. Oh, Saber enters her scolding mode. This is the first time she started to complain about something outside of the dojo. I knew she was irritated not being up for this and being looked at by curious eyes. But I didn't think she was this irritated. Do not reverse! Except for the fact that Saber does plan most of the time. But... Do Oh. え、そういうことではなく私は今はこのようなことをしている場合ではないと。Mary I look at Saber. Saber just looks back at me in shock. Saber averts her gaze and runs out of words. <laughs> I'm considering an ordinary place like an aquarium. Ooh, that sounds fun, actually. I've never been to an aquarium, actually. I decide and grab Saber's hand. Oh, that. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, how lewd. <laughs> I start to run without waiting for Saber's reply. Since I've talked big to Saber, I can't act miserable now. I just have to take her to every possible place I can think of. I run, holding Saber's hand. She must have accepted it as Saber finally stops complaining and follows me quietly. Well, it's before 10 o'clock. I'll make the two hours before lunchtime worthwhile and surprise her. To summarize, the two hours went by like a storm. We went to a boutique I usually don't go to, and we played bowling while I taught her the- Oh my god, it's so cute! Oh my god! I couldn't find an aquarium, but we fed some birds in a park. 
We also went to an antique store, and I still think it was best not to go to the movie theater. Anyways, I kept taking her to places a girl might like for the past two hours, and there were many results. Honorable defeats and total defeats! <laughs> but I don't think this is what people would call a date. This is more like a contest, a fight to the death, where the first one to give up loses. Saber is the same as usual no matter where I take her, and she sometimes goes so quiet that I seriously start wondering if she's really mad. She gives no reactions, so I became desperate to make her happy at the next place I take her to. As a result, I become obstinate about making Saber smile and run around different places all morning. But it's already noon without much success. So, the Saber reminded me it's time for lunch. I decided to take a short break, but... Bro, feed her, man. Feed her some good food. A restaurant? Dude, let's do it, man. I complain once we're seated at a table. Oh no. Oh no! Rin, what have you done to us? That was the only advice Tosaka gave me last night. I trusted her and chose this place, but I never thought it would be so fastidious? Never heard of that word, actually. I look at the menu. Fortunately, the menu has a version in Japanese as well, so I have no problem reading it. But the trouble is, I can't understand what kind of food it is from the name and the prices are outrageous. I groan, looking at the menu. I hear a rather frail voice from the other side of the table. Oh. I raise my head, and then there's Saber with an expression like a cornered rabbit. Saber? The mansion? You, you, you consider their place a mansion. That's beautiful. Oh, come on, Shiro, we gotta do something. We, we gotta we gotta pull this out of the bag. Come on. ここで飯にして一息ついたらまた街を出歩こうと思ったんだけど。まさかそのようなことはありません。疲れたというのはご平和でした。This is one of my favorite saber sprites, honestly. I love it. Saber stops. The small gurgling sound was fortunately small enough that only I could hear. Oh, she was hungry. She could have just told me. つまり。昼食は早めにしてもらえると助かるということです。了解。そうだな。面白みがないけど、無難なところを頼んでみて、さっさと飯にやり着こうか。It's simple if all we want are light snacks. I order two things from the lunch menu and decide to eat quickly. I consider what to do in the afternoon while drinking the after meal coffee. What I learned this morning is that anything physical is not good. Saber gets serious when it comes to contests. That's good for me, but it makes Saber stand out even more. After we finished the game, Saber got angry because she got all the attention she wanted to avoid. Saying so, Saber lifts her teacup. Saber ordered English tea, and it seems she really likes the taste. We don't have much English tea at my place, and even if we did, it's all instant tea bags. It seems Saber was a bit dissatisfied with the drinks at my house, so she seemed to like English tea. I should put that into consideration starting tonight. Oh. Saber is sitting there and drinking tea. She doesn't seem happy or bored. If I had to use one word to describe her, it'd be that she looks natural. She drinks her tea, sitting up straight in the shadows of the streaming sunlight. Even though this is the first time I've seen such a thing, it doesn't seem strange. It feels like I've seen such a scene before. Why do I feel that? The saber I know is a tense girl, who's always holding a sword and fighting. But it's only natural. I also know her attitude after she lets go of her sword. When she stops fighting, Saber has always been calm and gentle. The scene looks natural rather than new because this is her true nature. 
No matter how superior she is as a swordsman, it is natural for Saber to be like this. Rather, it's abnormal for her to hold a sword at all. I once thought in my dream that she wasn't suited for fighting. I don't think I'm wrong. No matter how superior her technique, or no matter how many battles she's experienced, as long as she is who she is, it can't have been a comfortable place to be. So this is natural. Saber is resting, not holding a sword. This calm scene is the way she should be. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I wish. We do the same thing in the afternoon. I go to every place I can think of, and Saber follows me silently. This track is so pretty, but it's not as painful as it was in the morning. I don't know if it's because I'm getting used to it or whether Saber is complying. Saber still isn't talkative, but if I look closely, her expression isn't like it is when she's mad. There's a feeling of accomplishment and happiness when I see Saber leave a shop with light steps. So, considering many factors that might make Saber happy from many angles. Yes! 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 <laughs> Yes! You, you, Shiro, you did it, buddy! This! Now this! This is the way to a girl's heart there. Not every girl, but a majority. Like, seriously, I don't think I've ever met a girl that would turn down getting a stuffed animal from someone that they like. Like, genuinely, that, that seems foreign to me. Oh, I didn't even read the line. Oh, it's stuck you! I'm a bit dubious, but I've determined that this shop will be the best suited. Did I already read? I'm going crazy. I'm, I'm on drugs. So your stance, they're dumbfounded. I don't know if her shoulders are shaking because she's angry or because she's deeply moved. Oh. Damn, that sucks. Rip. Of course, there's actually not a rule like that. <laughs> But since there are only women and no men, it's like an unwritten rule. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. To prove it, there are only girls in here. The golden-haired saber is being stared at, but being a guy, I'm being, being glared at. I'm sure they want to tell me not to come into their sanctuary. I feel the same way. I would not approve of men entering this place. They're a lion, man! Panthers? Oh. She asks me with upturned eyes. I look away instantly and contain my laughter. <laughs> the funny thing is, Saber is strange for thinking she's strange for thinking lions are cute. <laughs> Unreasonable anger! <laughs> <laughs> it's just so like her. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong, man. Nothing wrong with lions. I go into the store while trying to hold my laughter. <laughs> it looks like the stuffed animals are that way. So, it's taken about an hour to go around the store. I looked at Saber staring at stuffed animals and felt really nervous with all the girls there. Anyways, it was the most tiring hour so far. But the worst part is, we've only looked through half the store! It took us this long to look at just half of it because Saber was frequently paralyzed. I mean, Saber kept staring down the stuffed animals. It looks like Saber is interested in the other halves too, so I'll have to accompany her. <laughs> I let out a big sigh. I don't mind being looked at by other people while walking with Saber, but a girl's only place like this is really uncomfortable. Boredom sometimes tires one's body. Honestly, I get it. Like, oh my god, I would never want to have to go into a Victoria's Secret or a really any women's clothing shop. Like, that is terrifying to me. Like, I feel like a stuffed animal place is pretty tame compared to the stuff I'm thinking about. I, I could go in here, no problem. I'd be embarrassed, because I'm a weird, shy dude like Shiro, but, you know, happens. I certainly... 
シロの方が居心地が悪そうですここだけではなく先ほどの店もその前の店でもそうでしたまさかとは思うのですがシロは自分で行きたくない場所を選んでいるのではないですかうんシロ、you gotta find a let's find a place we can both enjoy for me Saber's words are enough to cast away my worries. So, Dana. Shojiki, Eva, I think you got enough to grow it under the kettle. Yeah, Hari. Don't cast a machine. Not a night of a cut in the Nazi Konoyo and the Bashabaka, Rabuno. This. That the one of you are called you Bashonoga and Yaudaro. A sobini caught the Tredastano or an undergra. Kua, Saber no Hina Wakadashi. Oh my god. So I need so you go to you. Say bag. I do. Yo, Sarah, let's go, man. Let's go. 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 Let's サーバントとして扱ってくださいバカはそっちだ普段通りも何もセイバーは初めから女の子じゃないか<笑>別に今日だけ気を使ってるわけじゃないし今日の俺っていつもと違うかアスタンシメントセイバー opens her mouth as if she's just realized that いえ同じです yeah あなたはいつも通りのシロでした<笑>俺に気を使う必要なんてないぞ。ほら、それじゃ行こう。一番気に入ったものを買うんだから、あと半分も見ないとダメだろ。I take Saber's hand. Saber silently follows me. そうでした。はじめからそうだったのに、今になって、気がつくなんて。She murmurs to herself. Oh. She's barely, barely realizing this. That's all that hurts. Why do I feel like this is our last, like, like, the feeling I'm getting is that this is our last day. Like, this is the last day that Shiro gets to spend with Saber because I feel like it's all gonna end very soon. I am, um, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want, I just want, oh my god, I need peace, man. The unusual day goes by quickly. Saber never laughed, nor could I laugh from my heart. It's not like there was any memorable moments, nor were it so boring that I regret doing it. To be frank, this was nothing. Saber might have been happier if we'd stayed at the mansion and trained together. But today wasn't bad. It wasn't fun or boring, but I could be proud of it in the end. After the battle is over and everything goes back to normal. It would be too sad if all the time Saber and I had was spent fighting. Even if it's something stupid, she had to spend some time not fighting and there's no point in her being here. So I can be proud of myself for now. The end is near. When everything comes to an end and when there's no more need to fight, if Saber will remember this moment, and remember that this happened? That alone is enough for me to be proud of. Oh man, this is choking me up. Fuck. We go home on foot. Because Saber said, this is I decided to go home by bus. There's some wind now. The vivid setting sun is lighting the bridge red. Saber notices something and stops. She is watching a mountain of rubble. It's not that tall, even though it's a mountain of rubble. Steel frames and the likes are piled right up to the water's surface and are slightly distorting the flow of the river. I don't know why, but it seems like a ship sank or something, and pieces of it flowed into a mountain. I heard the local residents have been demanding its removal for a long time, since it damages the beautiful site. Oh! That is awesome! Oh my god! That 
All right, I, I respect the fuck out of Urobuchi for that one. I give him an actual round of applause for that. That is one of his <laughs> adaptations that was fantastic. I love it. Unfortunately, I don't remember seeing a ship get destroyed, but I'll let it slide. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> not mad, Saber, silly goober. I should watch out. I have to take care to only use Excalibur in an open place like this. No, we're not mad, silly. Yeah. yeah. This bridge is a pretty important spot. Yeah, we're... <laughs> <笑>元々感傷剤にする<笑><笑> It's true, uh, Kiritsuka only talked to her three times in the whole in, in the whole anime. That is shocking to me, how little they actually talked. Really cool attention to detail that Urobuchi uh, um, used from the VN. Saber looks down at the river yearningly. The water surface reflects the sunset. The wind coming from the river is a bit strong and flutters Saber's hair. Is it because she looks so beautiful like that? I was assaulted by a sudden fear that Saber might just disappear. And I asked something I don't need to ask. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck, dude. This feels... This feels... Oh no. She gasps. Saber opens her eyes in amazement. <laughs> he says so in a voice of hope, as if such a thing will never happen again. I knew what her answer would be. All I can do now is nod and just go home. Everything can return to the way it was, just like that. I nod, looking at Saber. It doesn't have to be the last time. I say something I won't be able to take back. Saber freezes. She must have realized what I want to say. She shakes her head looking directly at me. As if saying, There won't be a next time. As if this mistake is only for today. I know Saber's answer. But I ask, not liking the answer I expect. なぜも何もない。サーバントは戦うために存在するものです。今日のような行為は自らの存在を否定することになる。シロが休憩すべきだと判断したから従いましたが、もうこの先は体を休める必要はないでしょう。<笑> Um, since I'm not using a face cam, all I can say is my face is a fucking wet mess right now. She looks at me with eyes full of fire. Saber saying she will start fighting right now if I order it. That causes me to get mad about all the things I can't approve of. Saber's 
それは素人で分かっているはずですわああ分かってるだからおかしいんだ前から言いたかったんだけどな矛盾してるぞお前セイバーは戦いが大事だって言う割にいや自分から戦いたいなんて思ってないだろう他に手段がないからいやいや戦ってるに過ぎないんじゃないのかいやそんなことはありません私は戦闘をためらわぬ勝利するためならば手段は選ばないと言ったでしょう Yeah, she did say that. That's not a reason to like fighting. Yeah. 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 だからこそお前は戦闘を最小限に抑えたがっていた戦えば死者は出るだから早く終わらせたいってわあつまりさお前は犠牲者が出る戦いってやつがたまらなく怖いんだ After opening up her eyes as if she's seen a ghost she grits her teeth and straightens her stare 違います私は戦いを怖がってなどいませんそうだな確かにお前は初めから怖がってなんていなかったと思ういやそんな個人の恐怖なんて王の使命とやらで塗りつぶされていたんだろうからいやだけどそれでもお前は戦いを嫌ってるお前は単に強くて戦いがうまかっただけだけどそれはお前が望んだ才能じゃないだろういやはっきり言うぞお前は戦いになんて向いていない。本当は剣を取ることさえ嫌だったはずだ。いや、戦うことだけが目的だっていうのは、お前自身がお前をごまかすための言い分に過ぎない。I'm so glad we get this exchange that we can finally point out all of Saber's hypocrisy. At the same time, reading this highlights heroes too. And how similar they are. I feel like the King's mission is kind of analogous to like a hero of justice. Like the mission to be a hero with Shiro. Only it's a little bit more difficult because Saber had the title thrust upon her like more than just. Shiro technically had a choice. Well, Saber had a choice, yes, but I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's so simple. Why didn't you or anybody around you notice it? Shiro, Ikura, a n a t a r e m o Soreijo, no Bujoku, a Yurishimasen. Oh, man. Zboshta kara gaman d e k n a i n a o m i t o m e t a r a Tadakai nak naru karana. She grits her teeth. Saber glares at me in anger. I can't back away. If I believe I'm right, I can't run away. She needs to regain the happiness she should have had as a human. For that, I. この私は聖杯を手に入れるためだけのものです。セイバーの王の誓いを守るためにこの身を差し出した。それ以外の自分の使い道など私には許されない。This actively fucking hurts, dude. I only exist to obtain the Holy Grail. That annoys me the most. Why does she say ridiculous things like that as if to convince herself? Everyone around her took her word because she kept saying things like that. そんなことあるか道なんていくらでもあるお前はここにいるんだ昔のお前とは違うならこれからは自分のために生きなきゃダメだ間違っても間違っても聖杯を Final wish is permitted どうでもいい他人のためなんかには使うなここにいるならセイバーはここで幸せにならなきゃダメだ Dude, oh my god man the feels are fucking killing me right now 
I hear the wind. Saber doesn't answer. She doesn't even nod. She just looks back at me. Ow. Ow. She replies with a strong voice. あ、そう、and Saber's wish won't come true. It's impossible to erase everything that's happened. Saber. <laughs> ka. いえ。決してそんなことは。なら言ってやる。たとえどんなにひどい結末だろうと。起きてしまったことを変えるなんてできない。できなかったからやり直しがしたいなんて。そんなのは子供のわがままと同じじゃないか。I hmm. Jesus. Our words end there. Saber doesn't say anything. I don't have anything to say. The wind has stopped as well. No. The wind hasn't stopped. It's only died down for a sec. Another sound of wind. Just as I feel the wind on my cheek. Oh, man, that... The wind has changed into a headwind. Ow. Fuck, dude. A cold voice. It contains only rejection. I, th this scene is hurting me more because um, I'm not going to go into detail specifically, but this exact sort of thing has played out like in my life with someone that I really care about pretty recently too. Very similar to this dichotomy of a conversation and it's fucking tearing my heart apart right now. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh man. Just a human emotion anger usually comes out after something like this. It's just a human. あなたは自分の命が感情に入っていない。あなたは私が間違っていると言いますが、あなたの方こそ何かを間違えている。I guess Saber can't just accept Shiro calling her out for the exact same things that Shiro himself does. She I guess that I can understand her anger because She thought that Shiro could truly understand her because they were the same, but Shiro still refuses to acknowledge his own hypocrisy, whereas stating Artoria's, um... Yeah. Only corpses consider others more important than themselves? 
Jesus. So you, you say, like, Sh Shiro's basically dead? I guess you could argue that. He's just dead inside. He has He's just a husk of a human whose sole existence is to help other people. Ow, I mean, I get it. it yeah, I, I, I get it, Saber, that... Yeah. Saber... お前。管理さんありましたか。なら、いっそのこと契約を解除しても構いません。どうせあなたは聖杯を必要としていない。あとは私一人でマスターを破り、聖杯を手に入れるだけですから。そんなに戦うのは嫌ならば、あなたは
we're back. More pain and suffering. <sighs> Fate feels night. <laughs> Rialta feels. <laughs> Fantastic. I stop breathing. I bare my head going white and manage to restart my stopped heart. <sighs> so this is how it's gonna go, huh? It's one of these kind of situations. That's... that sucks. But I can't stop my emotions. I yell what sounds like an excuse and run away from Saber. I get away from her, but for a moment... Oh! Oh my... oh my god. Oh no! That's so sad, man. I think I see Saber standing there absentmindedly. I run. I keep running, not knowing what's so vexing or maddening. She's just, you know, killing off her emotions. Um. I grip my teeth hard and stop myself from yelling out. Just remembering it makes me white out and I might run into a pole or something. No, it would be easy if I could do that. If I was just angry at Saber, I could just take it out on something. But that's not the cause of this fury. It's not just Saber that I'm mad at. It's so vexing and I keep running so hard because I hate how weak I am. Saber was standing there absentmindedly. The words she said just as the wind changed directions. <laughs> I spit that out and regret it so much that I almost fall. What was it about? Her voice like a farewell sounded like she was crying. I to think of it, maybe those words were the only honest thing she said. Those words murmured with her head hung. A voice of hope, disappointment, and wishes. Then, who was the betrayer? And who was betrayed? I run into my room and shut the door. I collapse. I don't want to stand up. I just want to lie down and go to sleep. But my body is still burning. My heart feels like it's splitting open and my lungs are desperate for air. I ran full speed from the bridge to here. My body must be exhausted. I haven't run enough emotionally, but my body is telling me to calm down. I slowly calm down. I take a deep breath and let it out. And after I settle my breathing, all that fills my head is the question of why I was so enraged. I don't even have to think about it. It ran as if throwing something off me because I was so powerless. I can't save Saber. That fact is so vexing that I was angry at myself. I can't do anything. I promise to make her laugh. I promise to protect her, but I can't do anything. That makes me furious. That's the unfortunate thing, you know? <sighs> There's truth in that. That's why I tried hard, so she'd be able to find her own happiness. She told me that was meaningless, and on top of that, she called me a fool. That is true. What can I do when she says that? I value my life as well, and I don't want to do anything that might endanger it. But this has nothing to do with Saber. I think it's unfair of her to bring it up right now. No matter how stupid I am, I'm sure Saber's wrong. But if she denies me like that, I, I can't do anything. I turn over and lie on my stomach. The floor is the only view, so I close my eyes to black out my mind. That's it. I don't care about Saber anymore. No. You're trying to lie to yourself. It's the easy way out to make the pain go away. If the Holy Grail is so important to her, she can go marry it. 
She's so obstinate that she doesn't understand after I've told her this much. I'll be burned if I associate it with her anymore. Um, I'm sure that a lot of people reading the, the visual novel right now might hate Shiro's character here, or we'll call them childish and selfish. Yes, that's the point. He is being childish and, and selfish here. But he also is being kind and empathetic and has some validity in his points. The thing is, this is just a human reaction. This is how humans wrap their heads around things and how we try to cope with these feelings, these overwhelming, overbearing, horrible things that we, we go through emotionally. And as someone who's been in a situation like this, yeah, I can't tell you how much this rings home. No. I'll be seriously hurt. I've already been hurt, though. I'm not just burned. I met her, fought with her many times, and even saw into the depths of her heart to survive. That heat. I remember the light deep within her. Why do I recall such a thing at a time like this? That faraway plane. The memories that girl left behind. If I recall that beauty, it won't matter what Saber says. <laughs> Anyways, Saber is unfair. I don't know what's so unfair, but I think it's unfair that I don't know what's unfair. I can't hate her even though I'm this mad. And the more I try to ignore her, the more I can't. It's such a contradiction. Her whole existence is unfair. I can't hate her, no matter what. Fuck man, that, that hits home, dude. That, that hits home, man. Jesus. But I can't help it. If I can't give up, no matter how useless she tells me it is, I have to keep trying until the end. No matter how much Saber hates it or rejects me, if, if I believe I'm right. I remember her face about to cry. In the future, will she make that kind of a face every time I repeat this? Even if I'm wrong and Saber's right, if she's really important to me, I can never apologize to her. I thought I heard a sound. When did the sun set? The room is dark. The sound of the second hand on the clock is annoying. Hey, Ren. Maybe you could help pull Shiro out of this. Little slump. Oh. <laughs> An angry voice that wakes me up completely. I get up quickly. So, Sakawa looks flabbergasted. <laughs> すぐに行くから今で待っててくれ。それはいいけど、シロ、セイバーは？うん、あいや、ここにいないんなら、どうしようか今じゃないのか。ああ、ああ、ああ。シロ、私はセイバーがいないから聞いてるの。いや、サカ
That is where she is standing. Oh, she's still there? Right where I fled from her. Saber is looking out at the river, not doing anything. Is she looking at the long gone sunset? Her gaze into the distance seems to be watching a red horizon that has already disappeared. That makes me realize she's strong, yet so weak. Her gallant figure must be proof that she could live without anybody's help. But she's also so weak that my hand might go through her if I reach out. She can't do it alone, but she defends her pride until the end. That's why it was the same for me. Watching stars that cannot be reached. She stares at the distant set sun as if she knows nothing else. I can't leave her alone. If I lost, it was a complete loss for me. It made me swear to myself that I would never let her make such a face. I walk on the bridge. I'm making sounds, but Saber doesn't notice. I walk towards her in silence and stand next to her. <laughs> she jumps. She must finally have noticed me. Saber turns around as if to question me. そうですか。それは悪いことをした。別にいいけどな。けど、なんだってこんなところにいたんだ、お前は。はい。ここにいたのは、まだ行き先が決まっていなかったからです。シロは勝手にしろと言ったでしょう。ですから勝手にしようと
I walk on to hide my embarrassment. Saber silently accompanies me. How much further is it to the mansion? I feel embarrassed by the warmth in my hand as I leave the park. Many things happen today, but if it ends with this warmth, I can change religion and start to pray with that priest. The instant I think so. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I like Lancer, but why do you have to show up now? I'm checking the relationship page. Fuck this shit. It's insane. Fuck you. Damn it. Fuck. God damn it. Oh no, this is... This is Gil. You... The voice sounded like Lancer there. I'm not... Not, not even... Not even gonna... Okay, this is Gilgamesh. Alright, Lancer. You get my up... You get my apology and my respect. I bow down to you, sir. But fuck you, Gilgamesh. Get the fuck out. We meet someone we never should have met. Yay. My happy mind freezes in an instant. Goosebumps form all over my body and my throat won't move as if it's forgotten how to breathe. It must be the same for Saber behind me. Her hand holds me tightly. Just as I feel an unavoidable death, Saber too feels an inconceivable des desperation. Oh my god, what is that? Look at him! Look at this motherfucker! Look at, Look at him with his, like, Ikea fur coat. <laughs> the unknown heroic spirit who swept away the bone creatures and even cast herself without any difficulty. Not gonna lie, he looks fucking awesome there. That That's... He, he got some rings on his finger? Now he just needs some tattoos and it'll look like you're your 2021 Chad. That monster's in front of us. He's so close to us. At a distance with which we could start fighting if we wanted to face a death greater than Berserker. Oh, that face, huh? <laughs> Nah, 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 Gilgamesh, we intend to kill you once and for all. This time? Archer stifles his laughter happily. His eyes aren't looking at me. He's only watching Saber. With his rude red eyes, he's looking at her as if evaluating a work of art. Saber's presence changes. She must have prepared herself. Unlike me, unable to even move a finger, she's already glaring at that enemy servant. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Her back asks me to forgive her. Even Saber can only manage to block his first attack. The chance of success of retreating from a guy like this is low. I genuinely, um... How are we gonna... Like, how are we getting... <laughs> I just... I'm just trying to think, like, Lancer seems, like, no disrespect to Lancer, right? But he seems like a beatable guy, you know? Like, like we could, we could, we could beat him, right? But Gilgamesh? I, 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 I genuinely don't know how we could possibly beat him. Like, Gil is, like, the final boss fight kind of, like, kind of deal here. Like... I don't even know what to say, like... It just... It's terrifying to think about how strong he is, um... Um... I, uh... <laughs> pain, pain, pain... You gotta love pain... Alright, let's, let's, let's continue. Saber's asking for my forgiveness for that low chance. Probably. She knows she has no way to defeat that servant. She can't do that. This is different from when we fought Berserker. For some reason, I know that making Saber fight this servant would be bad. I 
No, I may know the reason. I felt it when I saw his noble phantasms last night. Saber will not be able to beat this man no matter what. It's not about skills as a swordsman. Before that, the prerequisites are wrong. As long as they are heroic spirits, no heroic spirit will be able to beat him. Oh man, Shiro, you motherfucking legend. I cover Saber and face Arjun. <laughs> Arjun's gonna laugh. Jeez, man. He says happily. The man raises his hand and slowly brings his fingers together. I feel sick. I'll be killed if I don't retreat now. There's no reason or logic behind it. I just feel instinctively that I'll be killed if I stay in front of him and... Not the church! Oh, that, that's just, um... I push Saber away and run as if shaking off the premonition of death attacking me. There's only one thing to do. I run up to him, project Saber's sword like when I fought Berserker, and... Too fast. My body flies. What happened? The instant that man clicked his finger, something appeared right beside me. I could tell it was a big hammer and that I was smashed away, flying across the ground like trash. I can't move. I feel like all the bones in my body are broken. I can't feel my limbs. My pain is numbed and I can't even tell if I'm alive or not. Ah, I see. Makes sense, actually. Alright. That man, the man laughs. I move my hands to try to get up, but my body won't move at all. My blood isn't flowing. It feels like the energy to move my body has stopped reaching my limbs. Oh. That kills my mind. He will kill me. If I move anymore, he will do so without hesitation. Could anyone move after being told that? Saber tries to run to me. Oh! Oh my god. But the man won't allow that. He stands before me and waits for Saber to come to him. Saber stops and glares at the man. There's about 10 meters between them. It's a distance Saber would be able to close instantly, but... Hmm. その様子ではまだ俺に下る気はないようだ。理解に苦しむ。お前ほどの英霊ならば、俺に選ばれることがどれほどの価値かわかろうに。よまいごと。英霊になろうと私は王だ。貴様の軍門になど下らぬ。そ
just to take a backseat for a second. Saber's a big deal if motherfucking Gilgamesh thinks that he she's the only woman of his caliber. So anyone that disrespects my girl Saber, you're gonna get pimp smacked by Gilgamesh. The man moves. He opens his arms as if to accept Saber. So. Well, she, he knows about that much, but how? もう一度だけ言うぞ、セイバー。このままは俺のものになれ。この世界で共に二度目の生を謳歌しようではないか。断る。そのようなことに興味はないし、何より。いや、貴様と共に生きるなど、まかり間違ってもありえません。<laughs
sword and armor clash. The man hasn't even drawn his weapon yet. With Saber's sword in front of him, he is just protecting his head with his hands. That man does not have the skill to block Saber's sword. Saber is much better than this man at sword techniques. And on top of that, Saber's sword is invisible. Even if the man had a weapon, I don't think he would be able to block that invisible sword. The invisible sword keeps hitting the man's armor. The sword smashes against the armor, shaves it, letting off lightning sparks. All the man can do is to protect his head with his hands. This isn't even a match. This is just one-sided el elimination. But, still, the golden armor retains its shape. If the armor is free of damage, even after taking Saber's attack so many times, could it be that his noble phantasm is his golden armor? Fortunately, no. Oh shit! Saber is- okay, that, that's good! Saber's having an effect on his armor. The enemy who is mer merely defending raises- oh great, now he's gonna go on the offensive. Not towards Saber. I don't know why, but the man raises his hands to the night sky and- Is it an illusion? In his hand, a short sword like a key is in his hand. Oh my god! Oh my god! You're gonna enema Elish? Like, right now? <laughs> Saber attacks with all her power, but... The enemy repels it with his dark red sword. <laughs> Saber distances herself and glares at the sword in her enemy's hand. The fact that the enemy has revealed his weapon is a threat, but at the same time it means that the enemy's attacks are revealed. It doesn't matter if his noble phantasm is a sword or armor. As long as you can see it, you're able to deal with it. Saber readies herself. As the man said, his armor is at its limit. If Saber relaunches her fierce barrage of attacks, she should be able to slash him through his armor. Even if he has brought out his noble phantasm, it won't make a difference to the fact that the next blow will decide the match. Sword in her hand is still invisible. Reading the holy sword still in wind, Saber stares at her enemy. The same Saber knows what that noble phantasm is. That's why she intentionally distanced herself, and since she knows how to deal with it, she's confronting the enemy straight on. If their noble phantasms are swords, and if the sword's abilities are equal, the deciding factor will be their own sword techniques. By that theory, Saber has to win. The man laughs. Saber charges without hesitation. Saber's sword will slash his armor for sure. The instant I think that. There we go. We're, 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 we're... we're boned. An invisible door opens behind the man. <laughs> Saber's body stops. The weapons the enemy takes are different from the previous Dark Red Sword. First is an invisible sword like Saber's. As soon as Saber defends against it, the man is holding yet another sword. The sword is a vice. She twists her body to avoid it, but the space the sword goes through freezes. Saber retreats, covered in ice. As the ice starts to break, the enemy holds a sickle-like weapon. She instantly tries to block the weapon, approaching her neck with her gauntlet. But it's useless. Oh no. That sick- the sickle goes through her arm like the gauntlet isn't there and takes away her magical energy. As if cutting away her bone and not her flesh or blood. <laughs> Shit! Saber totters but manages to stay standing. It is a different kind of retreat now. Not to distance herself and prepare for the next attack. It's a desperate retreat just to get away from the enemy. <laughs> Saber glares at the enemy, drawing magical energy into her arm. What? This music playing means this shit is, is, uh, is crazy. Many handles are floating around the man. That's what slaughtered Caster. And those are the noble phantasms of the Golden Knight who cornered Saber. There we are. It's a scene that makes even me want to doubt my own eyes. Look at all these weapons, man. Those handles floating behind him are surely those of noble phantasms. Not just ten or twenty. No, even though I can't see them, I can feel that they are infinite. 
from all times and places, as if to say that servant is, has all the divine mysteries from every legend. Saber's voice is trembling. Servant will not answer when asked their true identity. But the enemy's noble phantasm is so strange that Saber has to ask. A wonderful actually answer. それは Saber's right. All the noble phantasm he has are real. There are demonic swords from Northern Europe and demonic swords from South America. No hero made his name in so many different places, and first of all, only Lancer has escaped Olg. Heroic spirits and noble phantasms are the weapons they had when they were alive. By that rule, as soon as he has escaped Olg, he has to be Kukulain. But he isn't Kukulain, so that Lance cannot be Gabe Olg, but the, th th but the thing is, that is definitely the real Gabe Olg. This could be all explained if it was a fake, but as long as it's real, this contradiction is... No. Hold on. Original? The model of weapon? <laughs> it is possible. Myths and legends do not start from nothing. All myths have common points because a single foundation became their model. Because legends that become objects of faith are only those that originate in that land. I think demonic swords and holy swords start having special abilities around that time. Are we getting to the point that Gilgamesh was the first myth that we have dated um, back, I think? I'm not entirely sure, but... So before that, what if the noble phantasms and myths and legends had a form before they were given names? Oh, that sprite is weird. Dude, look at my man's crusty-ass lips, man. He needs some... He needs some, like... Aloe vera on there. Jesus. <laughs> Saber looks towards me, so far away. I can't even help her if she's so far away. My body's only recovered to the point where I can barely move my fingers. No! <laughs> now that sprite's cool. I like it. まだ世界が一つだった頃の話をしよう。その国は栄え、王はあらゆる財宝を収集した。集められるものなどなく、足りぬものなどなかった。王は完璧な宝物庫を持ち、その中にある無造無造の武器は使われることなく、王と共に
やってみなければわかりませんいかに英雄王といえど超えられぬものがあるはずだ Saber surroundings waver Oh there we go Oh my god Excalibur The wind starts to twirl and becomes a raging gale to protect her At the same time the golden sword appears It can't be Saber's gonna use the Excalibur? Gilgamesh stops. He too must know the Holy Sword's powers as composure vanishes. Saber keeps staring at Gilgamesh and looks in my direction for an instant. Is she telling me to run? Gilgamesh has his back to the river, and Saber's over here. It must have been when she attacked him earlier. Before I realize that Saber's confronting Gilgamesh to protect me. I pour strength into my limbs. Even if I try to move my numb body, all I can move is one of my arms. But I still collect all the magical energy in my body to raise my body with that one arm. My senses were gone, but every bone in my body starts to scream once I start moving. The pain is a warning. The pain is telling me I will break if I move any further. I ignore it and raise my body up. Shiro, dude. I bear my pain. I don't have time to deal with it. I have to get up quickly and protect Saber. Because I have a bad feeling about this. The premonition I felt when I faced that enemy. She will never be able to beat him. The instinctive feeling that I should never let Saber fight him won't go away. Hmm. The swirling wind is now a raging storm. Even with the holy sword shining in front of him, the golden knight does not back away. Moreover, he pulls an incongruous sword from the gate behind him. There's his, uh, Aya? That's the cause of my bad feeling. That sword does not appear in any legend. I could identify every one of the noble phantasms that were floating behind him, but even I cannot tell what that sword is. A, sol a cylindrical sword. The sword is made of three parts, and each part is turning slowly in different directions. It looks like a rock drill to pierce through a hard surface. Yeah. The light con concentrates. There's only about 10 meters between them. Within that distance, Gilgamesh shouldn't even be able to dodge or attack. His laughter echoes through the park. She must consider that provocation. Saber's sword moves. Her lips move to say its true name. There's nowhere to run now. The noble phantasm released with its true name will smash all of its power onto Gilgamesh. This is this is this is not good. The cylindrical sword Aya roars. We saw what this did to Skandar, man. In response to Gilgamesh's words, the tree, the three blades turn with a word wor whirring sound. If Saber's Excalibur brings on a whirlwind by releasing the wind, Gilgamesh's Aya creates a storm by swallowing the surrounding winds. Saber is more experienced with anti-castle and the wolf phantasms. It is faster than Aya's roar. Saber pours magical energy into the sword up to its limit in a matter of seconds and executes it with the greatest power. There's no hesitation. Saber releases the holy sword that can even split a river in two. Just before that. There we go. Oh no, 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 no. No. A light of the same magnitude takes on Excalibur's light. That is insane. A huge impact. The raging wind knocks over trees and the crashing lights become an exploding sun burning my eyes. 
You know, after all this happened, I would move out of Fayeki. My body is almost blown away by the wind. I managed to dig myself into the ground with one hand and endure the wave, waves of light and heat. How long will the conflict last? The battle of the two rumblings that make me fear the earth is going to split into two is... Suddenly ended with her figure surrounded by a white light. Crash. I hear something falling right beside me. Shit. No, 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 no. What is it? What it what it is? I can tell even with my blinded eyes. <gasps> oh no 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 I thought she might be dead. That, that's how torn up Saber is. <laughs> <laughs> Gilgamesh, you motherfucker. In the distance, the Golden Knight is laughing crazily unscathed. Bastard. <laughs> His laugh is high pitched, and it seems like it will carry over the burning air into the heavens. Is it that much fun? Doesn't even look at Saber as he laughs only for his own sake. Saber. There's no reply, but blood gushes out from her mouth as she tries to gasp. My vision turns red. What was I doing? I knew this was going to happen. I knew Saber wouldn't be able to beat Gilgamesh, so why didn't I stop her? Or even use my commands? Saber. <laughs> Oh my god. Jesus Christ, Gilgamesh. His irritating laugh, the responsibility is mine. I thought she could win. No matter how bad it felt, I thought Saber's Excalibur would be able to beat him. That's why even though I told her to stop, my command spell didn't react. I wasn't serious. If I really wanted to protect Saber, I could have made her run away using my command spell. And there would have been infinite ways for me to fight by myself. How are we getting out of this situation? What are we, what are we gonna do? Maybe Lancer could show up right now and like... The laughter approaches. She must have noticed that as Saber faintly opens her eyes. Saber... I can see her breathing, but I can't touch her even if I reach out. My body still won't move, and I can't even run to her. So I can only call out to her. Saber! 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 <sighs> oh, Saber's mouth opens. She breathes in as if asking for help, and coughs as if even that is painful. Shiro. Oh my god, stop it, game, please. Yeah, we're here. We're here, Saber. We're, we're here. She raises a faint voice telling me she cannot see me. I can't stay. I'll help her. I'm on the ground too, and I can only move my arms. I can only call out to her and encourage her. She can't even see me in this ugly state. She speaks in a soft voice and looks at me with no light in her eyes. She says something absurd while coughing up blood. My vision turns red with anger. I completely depend on Saber unconsciously, and this is the result? I can't even stand up after a sudden attack? I grab my head with the only arm that moves. I want to kill myself. So I put strength into my hand as if to squash my head. Jesus Christ. My firing hammer goes down. I take the switch to turn myself into a magus and smash it on with a hammer instead of my finger. Osaka's words. She says magic beyond one's level will destroy the caster's circuits and nerves. So what? She's more important than that. If I can't protect her, I don't need my body. Oh my god, Shiro, you... 
you fucking legend. She has helped me many times. There never has been anyone I cared so much about. So, if I can't protect her, Emi Emi Ashiro could just die here. I can hear sounds of metal. Metallic magical energy reinforces all the bones in my body and all the broken parts of my body. Holy shit, no way. I'll give it everything I have. I'll put it into the highest gear and the highest rotation from the start, and ignoring my limits, I'll create as much magical energy as possible. My spine catches fire, and my whole body grows red hot. They bite my tongue to bear the feeling of my brain melting. I bite down on the pink flesh. If I can keep my consciousness just by making a hole in my tongue, there's no problem. Oh my god. The footsteps stop. This laughter stops as well. She must feel it even though she can't see. Saber screams, trying to get back up. That makes my last powers turn on. I stand back up. The body that wouldn't obey me starts to move because of the magical energy poured in past its limits. This is like setting my body on fire to make it run towards water. But I don't care. It's better than watching Saber get hurt. That's right. I finally realize that the mine that's about to burn away. From the beginning, I swore to hold the sword because I didn't want to see her hurt. I obstruct the enemy. Saber's behind me. Now. I cannot even take one step backwards. Here we go, oh my god. I hold down my brain, which is rolling around on fire, and manage my mind. I am a... I am imaging only one thing. I'll divide the projection into eight sections to create the lost sword. I feel something hard on my left hand. I don't even need to look to check. The second manufacturer of the sword proved successful without slowing down even once. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Wow. I ready my sword. I hold the sword heavier than a shinai and glare at the enemy. I shake off Saber's words and step forward. There are four meters between us. If I step forward with all my might, I'll be able to attack him. The enemy doesn't move. Gilgamesh watches me for a second, then laughs. He says in an emotionless voice. I instantly blocked the attack, swung at me. I sway my body to the side to avoid the attack. But I'm not fast enough. If the first attack was a sudden gust, the next barrage of attacks is a raging wind. Parrying is all I can do. You know, I wouldn't even have been able to block the first attack by myself. It is fortunate that I also reproduce its memory when I reproduce the sword. A sword with a long past holds will and experience. The sword must already be familiar with such attacks. I can't judge Gilgamesh's attacks, but the sword is able to. So the sword reacts to his attacks before my hands do. I swing to follow the sword, and as a result, I can block his attacks. But that doesn't last long. My fingers numb every time I swing, and I slowly I cannot catch up with the sword. No, we are not Gilgamesh. He must dislike even the slight resistance. He glares at me in anger and retreats a bit. Thank God. If he had kept attacking me, I would not have lasted more than a few seconds. I take a deep breath and try to control my breathing. And then... You fucking ass. He takes out a sword. He's, yeah. That is a familiar sword. The ornamentation on it is different, but its true nature, the idea of its creation, and its soul are too close to to those of this sort. Gilgamesh 
王を選定する岩に誘った剣は北欧に伝わる支配を与える剣に誘った剣が流れたものだが、oh、これはその原型。What? 王を選定するという政権の大元だ。The sword of supremacy in the tree, Ram, the demonic sword of Sigmund, hero of northern Europe, its original model. Jesus. Light runs. The sword understands better than anything this is the same attack that terminated Berserker in one slash. It must be protecting its owner. The sword in my hand goes for the enemy's sword with its utmost power. The, the name of the noble phantasm is Caliber, the golden sword of assured victory, but it is destroyed without a trace by the sword called Marduk, the original sin. Marduk? Oh, okay, yeah, we're. we're... I hear something sliding on the ground. Sliding. Is the ground of the park slippery because it's level? I slide across the ground and finally come to a stop. Shiro! 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 That voice makes me realize I'm still alive. Thinking so, I'm relieved. I felt like I was blown away, but it's fine if Saber's nearby. So all I have to do is get up and I can run to Saber. I look at my arm while I stay on the ground. It's red. My arm is surrounded by a red membrane and there's no blood coming out of it. I can hear Saber's voice. It seems my body has been injured. That attack. I'm sure I was blown away by Gilgamesh's sword. So the wound must be... Oh. I see. Now I understand why Saber's acting like that. I can only move my right hand. My left hand won't move. First of all, my left shoulder isn't attached to my... Oh my god. There's that. That's brutal. That's brutal. I can't even breathe. That's insane. How is he even conscious? Diagonally down from my left shoulder. As my body is cut from the shoulder down, it's separated like Lego pieces that don't fit together. Holy age. I how sorry about the dog, but how are we how are we getting out of this? It's like what what do we do? We're, it's like a ginkgo. A gink goat leaf. I've been cut from my shoulder down to my waist. It's strange that I'm alive. But that miracle should soon run out. I'm barely conscious right now and my vision narrows by the second. First of all, my insides will fall out if I move. Maybe I'm already dead and my mind is lingering like a ghost. なるほど。<laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Gilgamesh, he laughs. Honestly, I'm thankful. The more irritating is he is, the more my mind stays conscious. But what do we do? Footsteps. The sound of him walking to obtain Saber for sure this time. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh shit. I uh, I don't know what to do. Uh just I need I need a moment to think. Okay, where's Gilgamesh? There's his details. I'll I'll read all of his shit later. Fuck man, I will 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 what will, 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 will okay, that's cool. We'll, we'll we'll read this later. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. No, I just, I fucking... Well, one of these is going to progress the story, and one of them will lead to a bad ending, so I'm just going to go with my gut. Shiro's fucking half of his body is, like, missing, practically, from the shoulder to the waist down, and I guess I'm going to stand up. This is why Shiremia is the goat to the greatest of all time. I put power into my right hand. I grab the ground and raise my half-sliced body? I see Saber's face for an instant. She looks like she's about to cry. I'm proud of myself for falling in love with her. 
Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> oh, man, that... That, that is so powerful, man. Yeah, Shiro, you can do this. I raise my body with just one arm. My legs won't move. The magical energy that forced my body to move has depleted. The only thing remaining is my beating heart and my organs screaming in pain. Oh, that does it. I can't stand his talking anymore. Yeah. I put power into my right arm. Is there metal in it? With a creaking noise, my body reacts to my wishes. Shiro, Shiro, no! I get up on one knee. Huh. I put power into my body. As I do so, the things I need to live flow out. Saber's voice is almost insulting. She's a long way away. From a distant place, she is watching me in vexation. Shiro! How? I'm rooting for you, Shiro. I don't know how you can win, but... I ignore it and keep trying. Saber's voice is just a burden. Not my body, nor Gilgamesh, but Saber's my greatest enemy now. Because... If she objects with an expression like that, my mind will die. Finally. My knee finally has strength, so all that's left is to stand. Why can't we be your sword? Your shield? No, that's wrong. Saber's voice. Damn. If she interrupts me anymore, I'll get mad even at her. How can she say such selfish things without knowing how I feel? No. The two, like, both putting their life, like, on the back burner for each other is so heartbreaking to me. She sounds like she's begging. My mind almost collapses thinking that I'm making her sound like that. But still. Oh! I can't accept her words. Saber looks at me in astonishment. I don't know why she looks like that, but I remember. She told me I was a fool who didn't know the value of his own life. I think she's right. It's too conceited for someone who can't even think about himself to try to help someone else. There we go. Shiro, you, you understand now. That's just complacent happiness, and it's unstable happiness for the other party. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Fuck, dude, this is... Oh my god. The most important person is yourself. That kind of person probably can become happy and share their happiness. <sighs> it's odd. Um, I don't want to take away from the scene too much, but... This... As someone who's who's been embarking on a journey like this, to accept oneself and to love oneself and to actually love one's own life, just like Shiro's recognition here, and acknowledging the foolishness and conceit that lies within oneself who wants to help others but can't even acknowledge the worth of themselves, 
as someone who is there, who has been there, and is struggling to death with getting through it, this game is so... just eye-opening and life-changing. Like, this... this is genuinely, like, this hits me harder than, like, like the, to the audience, to you guys watching, you, you don't know, but this is... I don't know if anyone else can understand, but this is everything to me. This is... This is just beautiful. I was wrong about what's most important for me. Since that day, that seat has been empty. But I'm grateful for that abnorm abnormality. Because in that empty seat is sitting a person I want to save from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Oh my god. Jeez, man. That makes me realize I didn't feel sympathy for her. The girl I saw in my dream. She fought alone and died alone. I thought she was unrewarded, but at the same time I was charmed by her. I just thought she was beautiful. She pulled out the sword and ran through her life without looking back. Her life itself was so brilliant. So I have to protect her, so that you, all alone, won't be engulfed in darkness in your last moments. That's right, so that in your last moments, on the verge of your death, so that you can be proud of your life. My doubts disappear. My path is so clear. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yes, Shiro. <laughs> After I say that, I regret apologizing to her. But I had to say it. I wanted to say it now at this moment because there would be no impurities mixed in my words. I hear her gasp. I wanted to turn around and see, but I won't since I can't really see anymore. I get up. I can still fight if my heart is beating. My magical energy is my life. As long as my heart is beating, I'll keep on recreating her sword. Defeat you. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but Gilgamesh, we're gonna fucking just erase you from existence. I feel a burning heat on my right hand. Perhaps because I'm close to death, I remember ten years ago. It's a terrible illusion. My body feel like, feels like it's still in that fire, reaching out for life. I raise my right hand and say that. Well, you're about to fucking... Ugh. The enemy raises his sword. I hear Saber's voice from behind me. I ignore it, and using my remaining magical energy, I project the sword once more. And I'm stopped by that light. Even though it's not as strong as Excalibur, the light that can burn away everything it touches is coming for me. Feeling the heat on my body, I don't think about my death, but about Saber behind me. She'll be dragged in like this, so I have to at least protect her. I said I'd protect Saber. Yes, I wanted to protect her. She's strong, but at the same time she could have broken down at any moment. So I have to hold steady. She's like a drawn sword, so I have to help her so she doesn't get hurt. And then, before I realize it, there's something like a sword in my right hand. <laughs> Go, am I surprised? Whose voice was that? The hesitation is only for an instant. At the same moment, the Golden Knight, the Absolute Victor, retreats. <laughs> Saber takes my hand. What did we project? The rising light stops. Right beside me is Saber. Right before me is Gilgamesh opening his eyes and bleeding? What the fuck? What happened? I don't know what happened, but I know this is a repeat of the battle against Berserker. 
Saber used something I made and defeated Gilgamesh's sword. The light pushed back his light and must have injured him, who was unscathed up to now. A frighteningly, frighten, a frighteningly murderous intent. It feels like he needs to kill everything he sees in order to calm down. But the Golden Knight leaves silently. Really? I don't even have time to be surprised. I don't know why he left, but even my fading mind knows that the battle is over. We survived. Meaning... I, I don't know, I, I, um... There's probably only like one or two days left of the game. That is... Oh my god. There's... I don't know how we can beat him. This is a step in the right direction, but after the massacre... I'm so proud of Shiro, man. Dude, if this is Shiro, like, at his worst, in the terms of everybody, I, I know people prefer Shiro's characterization in UBW and Heaven's Feel, but I'm in for a real treat, because Shiro is, like, my kind of protagonist, my kind of guy. Like, I, I know it sounds stupid, but I, I relate to Shiro in more ways than I can even, like, talk about, really. Like, am I as cool as Shiro, and, and could I do half the things that he could do absolutely not but does he inspire me hell yes he does some of this a lot of his ideals and a lot of his characterization his traits and his feelings i i feel the same way i just he's just such a good character man it's anime onlys that hate him they they uh they they need to just like take their bias away and read the visual novel dude my knees give away all tension disappears and my body falls to the ground. Saber instantly supports me. With Saber supporting me, I look down at my body. I let out a gasp. My wounds are so bad they cannot be treated. How are we going to survive? My body cut from my left shoulder should have died instantly. I must be barely alive because of that healing power, but it must have its limits. My body is almost split in two. I'm sure nothing will be able to fix my body now. I can't even tell if I'm still breathing or not, and my consciousness is starting to fade. The end is near, but the fortunate thing is about Saber. I have a fatal wound, but it seems Saber is just fatigued. She's unarmed now, and her wounds are completely healed. So, even if I retire now, Tosaka should be able to do something. That sound again. The sound of, as if my bones are creaking is coming from my body. I look down at my wound. There are many swords. What? What look like the blades of swords are layered on top of each other and crowding together to connect my separated body? Making that sound? I feel dizzy. What? It feels like every bone on my body, every muscle in my body is made out of swords. There's no such thing. It must have been my imagination, as my body is just fine. What? It's proof that my separated body is starting to connect, and my cuts are healing quickly, huh? It's more like restoration than healing. This is more creepy than strange. It seems I'll be saved. But this is too- Yeah. I don't know how. I, I, I have no idea how I, 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 we're alive. I hear Saber's voice by my ear. It's really close by. <laughs> Trying to finish, I'm assailed by dizziness. Then, my body's enclosed by soft arms. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. It's so beautiful, man. <laughs> I can't stay conscious. It's because I produce too much magical energy. My tired mind wants to sleep right now. How strong is she? Saber wraps her arms around me and holds me tight. <laughs> I 
you were my sheath, Shiro. That's so fucking beautiful, dude. If if Saber was his sword, then he was her sheath. That oh my god. That 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 is that, that is perfect. That, that, I, I, I have no words. She says so in a deep, seeping voice. The feeling is so comfortable that my remaining consciousness fades away. I'm glad that you saved, and I let my body sleep. But before that, I complained to myself that it would have been more perfect if our positions were reversed. the end, I see that red hill once more. So, uh... This episode is cry- oh my god. This episode has caused me to cry like six times? I don't know how many... I'm dead inside? I'm actually dead inside right now. Oh my god.
Ah, that was a good nut. I just busted a nut. Kidding, obviously. <laughs>